Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, this system of equations ax plus by equals to 5, ax squared plus by squared equals to 10, ax power 3 plus by power 3 equals to 50, ax power 4 plus by power 4 equals to 130 and now we are going to find the value of ax power 5 plus by power 5. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number 1, this as equation number 2, this equation number three and this as an equation number four and here's our very first step let's go ahead and multiply x plus y both sides of this equation two so let's go ahead and write it down a x square plus b y square times x plus y equals to I am going to write down 10 times x plus y. Now let's go ahead and multiply these two binomials by double distribution or sometimes we call it uh, rainbow method. I'm going to multiply these ones across the board and if we multiply these things we are going to get a x power 3 plus b y power 3 plus a x square y plus b y square x equals to I am going to leave this right hand side as it is 10 times x plus y and now let's focus on these two terms we can see that x y is in common so let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So I'm going to write down ax power 3 plus by power 3 as it is. Plus here I'm going to take x, y as a common factor. So inside this parenthesis is going to be ax plus by equals to 10 times x plus y. And now let's focus on first these two terms ax power 3 plus by power 3 which is equal to 50. So I'm going to replace this one by 50 and likewise ax plus by in our case is 5. So I'm going to replace this one for 5 as well. So therefore I can write this one 50 and this one plus 5 times x y equals to 10 times x plus y and now let's go ahead and move this 5 x y on the other side so we got 50 equals to 10 times x plus y minus 5 times x y and this equation can also be written as like if we switch them around by making 50 on the right hand side. Let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 5. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and multiply x plus y on both sides of this equation 3. So let's go ahead and multiply this thing. So I'm going to write down a x power 3 plus b y power 3 times x plus y equals to 50 times x plus y. Now let's go ahead and multiply these two binomials by double distribution or using the, this rainbow method. And now we can see between these two terms x, y is in common. So let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. I'm going to write down ax power 4 plus b y power 4 and between these two terms I'm going to take uh, x y as a factor outside so we are going to have this one 
ए एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी वाई स्क्वेयर इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी टाइम्स एक्स प्लस y and now we can see that ax power 4 plus b power y power 4 in our case is 130 so i'm going to replace this one by 130 and likewise ax square plus by square in our case is 10 so i'm going to replace this one by 10 as well so therefore this equation is simply is going to become 130 plus uh, 10 times x y equals to 50 times x plus uh, y let's go ahead and move this 10 x y on the other side so we are going to get 130 equals to 50 times x plus uh, y minus 10 times uh, x y and we can write this equation as this way by switching them around let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 6 and in this next step let's focus on our these equations 5 and 6 and let's make things simple let me go ahead and call this x plus y as a u and i call this x times y as v likewise this is going to be our u and this is going to be our v so therefore let's assume let's do a substitution let's assume that u equals to x plus y and v equals to x times y then our this equation 6 is going to become simply after this substitution as 50 u minus 10 v equals to 130 let me go ahead and call this as equation number 7 and likewise our equation this equation 5 is going to become 10 u minus 5 v equals to 50 let me go ahead and call this as equation number 8 and in this next step let's focus on this system of equations equation 7 and 8 which are right up here now let's go ahead and solve this system of equation to find the values of u and v and we are going to use the elimination method let's go ahead and multiply by negative 2 so that's going to give us uh, negative 20 u plus uh, 10 v equals to negative 100 and now let's go ahead and add this equation uh, with this equation 7 and here i have copied down this equation 7 and this equation right up here Now let's go ahead and add these two equations now we can see that this negative 10v and positive 10v they are gone is going to give us 30u equals to 30 on the right hand side so that means our u value turns out to be simply 1 so we got our u value equals to 1 let's go ahead and plug in this u equals to one value in this equation 7 to find out the v value and here i have copied down this equation 7 over here let's go ahead and replace u by 1 so i can write 50 times 1 minus 10 v equals to 130 now let's go ahead and subtract 50 from both side this is gone so we ended up with negative 10 v equals to 80 so that means our v value is going to be negative 8 so thus our u value turns out to be 1 and v value is negative 8 but we know that uh, u is originally equal to x plus y and v equals to x times y so we can write uh, this one 
as this u is going to simply become x plus y equals to 1 and likewise v in our case is x times y so this is going to become x times y equals to negative 8 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the value of this ax power 5 plus by power 5 so let's go ahead and multiply x plus y on both sides of this equation for now so let's go ahead and multiply them out so i can write a x power 4 plus b y power 4 times x plus y equals to 130 times x plus y and now let's go ahead and multiply them out by double distribution and now we can see over here between these two terms x y is in common so we can write this one as a x power 5 plus b y power 5 let's factor out x times y from here so we ended up with a x power 3 plus b y power 3 equals to 130 times x plus y and now we can see that in our case x times y is a negative 8 ax power 3 plus by power 3 is 50 so i'm going to replace this one by 50 this one by negative 8 and likewise x plus y in our case is 1 so i'm going to replace it by 1 so therefore we can write this thing ax power 5 plus by power 5 plus xy i'm going to replace it by negative 8 times this is equal to 50 equals to 130 on the right hand side times 1 and now let's go ahead and add 400 on both sides this is gone so we ended up with a x power 5 plus b y power 5 turns out to be 500 and 30. so thus our ax power 5 plus b y power 5 value turns out to be 530 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye